We have a 63-year-old male coming in from his GPD as there is concerned that he is not transferring out of bed by himself and that he is not toileting by himself. To clarify this, you elect to consult PT. They give him a FIM score of three in both domains. Can the veteran return to the GPD? Yes or no? We'll give you 10 seconds to think about it. All right, the answer is no. So while it may feel like a dry topic, this is incredibly important for a lot of reasons. So we're gonna go through what we call FIM scoring. This is what the VA uses. Not every um, physical therapy scale is the same. So it is trademarked, the functional independence measure. There are 18 different components, a lot of them. Physical therapy does not go through all of them necessarily, but it actually depends on what you're looking for. So. I think most often they are doing things like mobility and transfer assessments and locomotion. However, you can do this whole gamut of things. So see how there's uh, 13 for motor and then five of them for cognitive. So it's something that it's good to be aware of because if you need a uh, assessment of something specifically, it's, it makes for a better consult. Uh, these are actually in the notes. So <laughs> read the PT notes. So if we look at the top, this is an example of a patient. It actually tells you dressing FIM of one, toileting FIM of one, bed mobility FIM seven, transfer FIM six. And you're like, well, what the heck? I can't memorize the numbers. Don't worry, PT has got your back. They put it in every single one of their notes. So it actually tells you uh, no helper, helper, helper. So if it's seven, they're completely independent. They're one, they're total assistance. So basically you can use this and the information on the 18 different domains to actually improve the consult question for physical therapy. So this is, this is kind of like when we talk about quote unquote bad consults for your consultants, you can be uh, very targeted in your questions for physical therapy to really help them with their assessment and maybe they can go faster. You are not wasting their time and we actually get useful output out of it. Very often they're going to do a lot of the locomotion transfers anyway, but you can ask about specific stuff. Uh, please do not consult PT reflexively. There's a really good brief report in JHM called Defining Potential Overutilization of PT Consults on Hospital Medicine Services. So in this particular hospital in Chicago, they use something called an Activity Measure Post-Acute Care Score, an AMPAC score. So kind of like the FIM, but not exactly. It was determined out of almost 3,600 admissions, 38% of PT consults by the direct hospital services were unnecessary. So this is bad behavior trickling down to all of you. So uh, I will be the first to admit that a hospital is very often going to say, just consult PT. I think we can be a lot more strategic about this. So we're modeling bad behavior and you all are doing it. So apologies. And we will also work on being better. Now you may say, okay, cool. This is not really like, I'm not supposed to do this. Well, what should I do instead? Well, there's a couple of things we can do. First of all, is walk, the walk with the patient yourself. This is something we don't do enough of. And I'm not saying you have to do it at two in the morning on your patient. Try and get it done. This should be one of your to-dos in the same way that you have that checkbox for AM labs. We should add that to walking, walking with the patient ourselves. It really doesn't take that long. Uh, you, can, you should only order a PT consult to qualify them for PT at a nursing home if necessary by insurance. So some of the dispo locations we have require a PT assessment and some don't. So you may wonder, well, which ones don't? Well, fortunately at the VA, we have two clear things. So if a patient needs home PT or PT at a VA contracted nursing home, you actually don't need to involve inpatient PT at all. And this will do two things. This will prevent you from having to call and page PT nonstop to get them to see your patient. And it will probably get you to discharge them faster because as we know, PT is a very scarce resource and it can take three days to get a PT consult. So let's, let's save their time and they can go see another veteran. So in summary, uh, the FIM is the functional independence measure. The scores go from one to seven. Seven is complete independence and one is total assistance. There is value in in-between um, scoring because depending on where they need to go, sometimes they, are, they have supervision when they're transferring versus not. Remember that the scores can really influence your dispo options. So this is why understanding dispo locations and this score can be helpful. Do not uh, reflexively consult physical therapy. 
that's unnecessary for home PT and VA contracted nursing homes. If you really are unsure of what the patient requires, I think that's reasonable, but please don't just do this automatically. And finally, it's really important to read the notes of our consultants and colleagues, read all the physical and occupational therapy notes. There's so much rich information in there that will help you uh, get your patients where they need to go. And that's it. What questions do you all have? Thanks, Dr. Patel. That was a great and very practical talk. I'm curious if we are going to try to get our veterans to a VA contract at CNH for PT, is it sufficient to just put in our notes that it is our opinion that they need PT or do we need to document some kind of thin score or what is, what is required on the documentation side? It's a good question. So it's really going to depend on the nursing home ultimately. And so I know it's not like a fair answer. I think it really is important for us to document what we are seeing them do. I saw the patient get up from the supine position to up on the bed without assistance, just observation. They got up and transferred over to the sink and was able to wash their hands and came back with no assistive devices. Things like that can be really powerful when we're Re uh, referring these patients to nursing homes. Thanks. Yeah. All right, FIM away.